What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. So, in the last episode, if you guys missed it, we uh, continued the Awakening quests, which actually got us the ability to build a hyperdrive for our starship. Uh, so, we got that guy, but we have to make the fuel for it. So, that's what we're doing this episode. But first, we're going to start things off by selling our larval cores. We're going to sell those guys and get a whole bunch of monies. I'm so happy. I'm really glad that uh, we actually managed to find another one of those, which was, it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it was a great thing. Uh, it was definitely great. So um, microprocessor, oh, wow, they're gonna give us a lot. So if I can make micro microprocessors, that'd be great. Gosh, my mango gold is worth 40,000. That's absolutely insane. Does he not even want larval cores? Oh, what a poopsie. What a poopsie. Okay, we're going to have to find somebody else then. Will you buy larval cores from me, good sir? Please. Please purchase them from me. Sell items to the life form. Uh, larval core. There we go. Perfect. I want to sell all of those. That's going to be 674,000 bits. Bits. Oh my gosh. Are we playing astronaut here? <laughs> uh, units, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and transfer all of these. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to sell some more to him. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new here and you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well because that helps out the channel quite a bit. And if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like as well. All right. So Larval Core, I know you want them. I know you want them. Oh, look at that. We're going to be over 2 million units now. This is great. This is great. Let's go ahead and sell those. Uh, get through this into the inventories and then we'll go into here again. It's a life form uh, Larva core boom done skis. What are we at now? 2.7 million units. I like it. Oh, I like it. It is a uh, very nice very nice indeed Okay, so we did that uh, Now we need to that's not what I wanted to do at all We need to make a warp drive for our starship or we need to get the fuel for it anyways. So let's go into here. What do we need for this? We need warp cell. So we need an antimatter housing. Uh, so we need some ferrite dust and some oxygen. Yeah, some oxygen, yes, I. Uh, you know, that might actually be best if we did that at our home base. Let's do that. Let's head back to our base on the verdant planet. Nice planet, beautiful planet. Whoa, jeez Louise. Give me a haircut there. My goodness. Earned 1.7 million units. We did it. Fantastic. I like it. Oh, wonderful. Uh, but we're going to head back to our base and we're going to start doing some things there. Hopefully get some antimatter made and maybe warp to a new system. Oh, I'm excited. I am so excited about this. I hope you are too. All right. Coming back into our base here. Oh, geez. Too fast. All right. Flip over and land. Okay. Initiate. Oh, gosh. We're landing on the wings. <laughs> so, um... By default, when you're flying a shuttle, it has tethered controls, which is great. You move the mouse, it kind of does everything else for you. However, I like the the other mode. I guess maybe it's because I got used to it. It's untethered. So wherever you look, that's like where you start heading. But then you have to like hit like, you know, A and D. That gives you your, uh, your role and stuff like that. I prefer that kind of flying. It just feels a little bit more natural to me. But uh, we need to collect ferrite dust. So let's actually go into the cave here. And collect it. So hopefully that guy will leave us alone. That would be great. Uh, oh, let's analyze these. See what we get. I would like to eventually get a advanced mining laser, but I don't know how long before we do that. So I mean, are you watching me? You can't even see me, dude. Yeah, you can't even see me. He's looking for me. It's like I can hear something going on. I can hear something going on. Uh, pure. Okay, good. Go figure. Uh, ferret dust. There we go. Got a nice little cave here. I like it. I like it indeed. And we have these uh, stalagmites that might um, that'll give us the cobalt if we need that. So not bad at all. This is just a good base in general. Construct antimatter housing. Let's do it. Craft. Um, okay. I guess I need oxygen. <laughs> we need some oxygen, people. Um, okay. So let's do a quick scan. Oxygen. Oxygen. Where are you? Oh, there's some. Okay. Let's grab this. Oh, it's the red plants. The, the red plants. Do we have enough now? How much should I get? 23. That I don't feel like is going to be enough. Hmm. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we don't need that right now. 
Oh, scanner's recharging. Do I see any red plants off in the distance? Hey, yo, I see one. Oxygen. A uh, very nice. What are you, a carbon? Don't need you. Sorry, you're worthless to me. Okay, there we go. Um. Well, I guess we'll move this to... Oh, geez. Um... What do I want to get rid of? I don't want to get rid of anything. Hmm. That's recharged. What about the multi tool? Is there anything I can charge up with the multi tool? Mining beam. There we go. Exosuit. Yeah. Now we have free spot. Okay. Warp cell. We did it. We have a warp cell, people. Fuel the hyperdrive. Absolutely. We'll do that. I really need to finish putting a roof on this place. Just haven't done it yet. You know, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, fueling the hyperdrive. Ooh, we're about to do some things. We are about to do some things here. Hyperdrive, warp cell. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Make your way into space. That sounds like a plan. Can we take off? See, I don't have it. Oh, I do have launched fuel, actually. <laughs> All right, going into space. All right, we're into space. Warp to another system in space. Access the galaxy map with X. Um, summon freighter. I don't have freighter yet. We'll get there. Galaxy map. Boom, baby. Oh, potential science recruit. Oh, there's actually a, a deal for it. What? Okay. How do I? You are here. Okay. Uh, select new path. I want to, I want to do, I want to do this one. This one, uh, deselect current system. I want to do this one. Yeah. If we can get a science recruit set waypoint, uh, warp. Nice. Nice. There we go. We're warping for the first time ever. It's super amazing. Fantastically awesome. Oh man, this is amazing. This is pretty exciting. You can you can never say anything about a good warp, you know? It's always a good feeling. All right, so I said potential science recruit. Now, somebody did say once I warped to a new, a new system that there was going to be a freighter asking for assistance. And if I, oh, nice. Anomalous subspace signal detected. Uh, and they said that if I actually help them without hitting it one time that I'll get it for free. Um, okay, I guess we'll do that to pinpoint the source. Source is planetary outpost. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, let's head over here. Let's hire our space, our science guy. Hopefully, is this potential? So does that mean like it might actually happen, or it's just like yeah, it's a new space station. You might be able to go there. You know, there's there's an option. There's a choice. There's a chance. It's like one in one hundred percent tile. Uh, maybe I don't know. This is going to take forever. <laughs> this is going to take absolutely forever. Alrighty, we're coming on in. Let's see. Do we have a science recruit? There's no way. What are the... I mean, they did change it to where it said it... Uh, like, potential science recruit. Anonymous signal detected. Visit the planetary outpost. Alright, where's my dude? Do I have a dude? Please have a dude here. That'd be great. That's the whole reason I even warped this the solar system because if not i would have followed the path of the center of the planet the center of the universe which by the way i'm not intending on doing because i know exactly what happens at the end oh what is up my dude i need you so very badly uh give common metal give rare metal let's give him rare metal all right okay but i need you are you not Corvax? I thought you were Corvax. It's clearly distracted. The payload such a cough. <clears throat> uh. Okay, so it's not here. It's not that guy, apparently. Wait, is there anything in here that I need? Uh, what is this? trade terminal? Yeah, I don't need that. Okay. Uh, I need a I need a dude. I need a I need a scientist. Please. Maybe he's over there. Oh man, I thought that was gonna be the guy. Scientist. Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me. I need a scientist. Priest? 
Operator. The other guy was a scientist, wasn't he? Oh, there we go. Okay, the scientist scientist officers are on my base. If I provide them with a space terminal, hire the scientist. Oh my gosh, I went through like everybody here. I was like, what is going on here? Why can't I find one? Oh, we found a scientist. Yes. Okay. Um. Very nice. Expanding the base, return to the observer. Okay, hold on. That's not kind of the mission I'm working on right now. We're kind of working on this one. Uh, search for clues. Train signal appears to be broadcast from an outpost in the system. Dock at the outpost. And investigate the alien life forms. I'm really hoping that we can get the teleporter activated before we head back. Because um, I really don't want to have to make warp field again to go back. I'd rather just teleport, you know, from here to there to there to here. You know what I mean? That's what I want to do. That's the idea. Uh, also, I did get a whole bunch of waypoints as well. Talking to everybody. <laughs> they gave me all kinds of things. All right. We got a trading post here. Entering atmosphere. Okay. So this is actually a big trading post. Very nice. But how do I get the warp? I want the warp ability. I really need, the, I need the warp ability. <laughs> That's what I need in my life. Oh, I need you to help me out here, people. Okay. What do you want, man? What do you need? You need help with something. All right. What do you need? Uh, okay. Tap to skip. Thank you. What you need, man? Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Take the blueprint. What are you giving me a blueprint for? The antimatter blueprint. Whoever's leaving me this trail has some design. Hmm. <gasps> we can craft antimatter now. Oh, chromatic metal and condensed carbon. That's, that's all it takes. That's actually not bad at all. Oh, but I want a ship. Oh, I want a ship. Oh, oh, I want this one. This one looks like it has a lot of space, but it's going to be way too much for me. Hammer of Moda. All right, let's just take a peek. Let's see how much it is. It's going to be way too. Holy 42 slots. <gasps> oh, I want you. Negotiate price. What do you? How much? 40 million credits. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, 15 slots to 42 slots. It has a pulse switch. It has a hyperdrive that's empty currently. Efficiency thrusters. Oh, man. That's what I want. This is exactly what I'm looking for in my life, but I need 40,000 credits for it. Mm, that is unfortunate. All right. So, what am I doing here? Uh, create antimatter, collecting gradients, gather kinetic carbon, process and portable refiner. Okay, so why am I doing that? What is what is the purpose? Am I helping this guy? Does he need the antimatter? Craft a warp cell, kinetic carbon. Do I? Am I supposed to like warp back to my other base? Maybe. Maybe that's the thing. I don't have any idea. Or maybe it's because I didn't go where I was supposed to go. What is that? Oh, that's the. Oh, look at that one. You're a cute little guy. How much are you? How much are you? Uh, make offer on the ship. Uh, 22 slots. Decent upgrade. 2.3! 2.3! Hmm. We go from 15 to 22. Is it worth it right now? It might not be worth it right now to change it. Because, I mean, we saw, I still have open slots. I still have enough stuff. Oh, but I want more slots. I want them all. But is it worth 2.3 million? Probably not. Exchange. It only costs 1.9 to exchange, though. I feel like maybe we could do a little bit better. What are you? What are you? Uh, this guy's only 18 slots. Class B. Yeah, you're not my style, man. Not quite my style. I like this little guy, though. He's super cute. It is super cute. All right. Let's focus on the mission here. And I guess we'll... Uh, oh, man. You know, some of these, though... You might be able to find S class. I can't afford an S class, but it'd be cool nonetheless. What are you? You're like the other one. Are, are any of these guys coming in? What's that one? Uh, oh, that's only a C class. That holds 28 plus three value 7.2. Jeez Louise, what are you? Uh, oh, this one holds 21 plus four. 1.1 that's not terrible it looks ugly though i don't want an ugly looking ship all right so we need to gather condensed carbon we might actually be able to do that right here all right let's not take damage uh whoa that guy's already after me i didn't even do anything man okay unidentified plant carbon all right let's we're gonna start taking these out <laughs> all right condensed carbon is being made as we speak gather condensed carbon uh, because we have to make antimatter. That's right. So craft product, antimatter, 
Ben chromatic metal. I don't have any chromatic metal. Do I have any copper? Hmm. I don't think I do. I don't think we have any copper here. We have more carbon. We have a lot of carbon, but I need copper. Is there car copper around here? Oh, there's a copper deposit right there. Super close by. Very nice. Not very far at all. It's like right there. Right across the way. Not bad at all. Are you copper? You're silver. Ooh, lots of silver too. That could be handy for something. All right, we have the stuff we need. Let's craft up some antimatter. I think so. Now what? Does he want me to give it to him? Oh, fuel the hyperdrive. That's what we need to do again. Okay, it's that thing again. Uh, warp drive. I need an antimatter housing though. Where's the antimatter housing? Oxygen and ferrite dust, which I don't have either of. That is super unfortunate. Ferrite dust. Uh, let's go ahead and switch this guy out. Grab some ferrite dust right here. And hopefully you can find some oxygen nearby as well. Right. Warp cell coming online. All right, very nice. And hyperdrive. Go ahead and activate that guy. Now where does it want me to go? Make your way into space. Fantastic. You know what? It's because I didn't. It, it's because I didn't follow the path that it wanted me to. I guarantee it. I bet you anything. That's why. Even though I had to come here to get a scientist, that it was completely worth it. Oh man, that one's cool looking too. I would take that one in a heartbeat. Uh, what is this? A drop pod. Oh. Uh. I want to land at it, but at the same time, like, I kind of want to progress with the story. Let's just progress with the story. We can always find these things later. All right, warp to another galaxy system in space with the galactic map X. Galaxy map. All right, where does it want me to go? It wants me to go. You select current system. Uh, destination galactic core. Okay, so I guess it wants me to go to this one? I'm guessing dotted lines means I can't go any further than that, right? Out of range, okay. So you, I think that's where it wants me to go. All right, I guess a warp it is. Warping it is! That's the second warp of the episode. My goodness, we're warp crazy now. Hopefully I can have my uh, teleports back. It kind of stinks though because the other planet I was just at, the other solar, the other solar system, I couldn't activate that one. Uh, this one's Corvex controlled as well. Fuel generations, satisfactory, uh, conflict level critical. Ooh, critical, yes, say, huh? Oh, this one looks cool. Starship monitoring system reports hyperdrive error, warp fuel depleted. Searching for fuel sources, searching, searching, searching. Obtained warp fuel source in sixteen six. Oh, except. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. What do I do? Full source detected. Okay. That's weird. It plotted its own route for me, huh? I mean, I had to select it. I could have stopped the other station, but uh, I want to see what this is about because this is kind of interesting. I've never seen this before. All right. What do we have here? Full source arriving. 10 seconds i like it this is gonna be like a whole bunch of uh hyperdrive fuel that'd be amazing <laughs> it's just like you you go there it's like a factory that was making hyper fuel and it's no longer making hyper fuel but there's like a ton of hyper fuel i would take all of it whoa what it's not what i requested this does not look like a gas station of any type this looks like a knowledge stone thing uh okay so we need to activate all of these right a skip wisdom of Corvax. Let's do that. Ooh, buka buka yun yun yun. <laughs> Except knowledge. All right. What about this one? What are you gonna give me? Same thing. Uh, convergence. Uh, toxic, and then this guy. Ashes of Omoth. All right, what's happening here? Student learned eight words. We did it. Okay, I want to do this. Oh, look at my dude. It's so funny. <laughs> Readying anomaly detected protocols. The structure isn't anything unlike anything I've ever encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. Is a stare words? Yeah. It is traveler. As a stare, it works from the same. Is a traveler? Is a friend? Is a traveler? It feels strange responding to the question. I'm sure I'm being asked. 
Something has clearly noticed my reply, and I'm overwhelmed by the sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It is first. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? It is first. Um. It has seen the eye. The eye has seen it. Both. Breach detected. Alert! The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. Did I do something wrong? I got a warp cell, though. Okay. I mean... I guess... What are those? <laughs> what are these things? Oh my gosh, they're hilarious. Okay. Uh, new discovery. Record. Okay, whatever. I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. Interesting, though. That it... Did I answer the questions wrong? Maybe I answered them incorrectly. And it did not like that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the hyperdrive again. Find the mysterious messenger. Make your way into space. Okay, now what? Do I have to warp again and do the exact same thing? Oh, we got another one. There's a strange power. It works. As left me messages. Crumbs that lead me along a trail. Should I seek answers? Absolutely. Should I investigate these anomalies? Search for answers. What happened? Signal detected. Anomaly. Scan frequencies with Starship. With Starship scanner. Whoa. Hello. Oh, you were like the, you're like a super warp. Almost positive this is like a super warp deal. Maybe we have to do this before we can. Ah, we're getting close. Maybe we have to do this before we can have the teleporters to our base. <laughs> I really want that. All right, let's do it. Accept me. I know exactly what this is. I've seen it before. Space anomaly. This is a black hole, my friends. I don't know how it's working, but it, it, it is working nonetheless. Space anomaly. Arrive. We've arrived. We've done it. The space anomaly is here. All right, what do we got? Store point saved. Perfect. Hello, friends. What is up? Oh, it's a little Gek dude. What up, Gek dude? Scientist Polo. Hello, Polo. Friends everywhere. If only you knew where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. The Gek wipes their priest's sweater hands as a suit. Adjust me. La, 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 la. Cool. Uh-huh. Find data for Polo. Oh, we'll find you the data. Don't you even worry. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's also something here. Ooh, weapon terminal. Where are you? Oh, I like it. <gasps> it's expensive. Compare. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's expensive. Oh my goodness, but it has 20 sauce. I haven't even used these yet, though. Let's just wait on that one. I think we'll just wait on that one. Oh, uh, who are you? Can I talk to you? Hello. 16. 16. Uh, transmit milestone data? Hmm. Oh, we got nanite clusters. Just for talking to a dude. Very nice. All right, so it wants me to... Okay, Reese milestone recognized for alien encounters. Check progress to this. 15 of 30 aliens met. Okay, so apparently I just need to meet people. That is not too hard at all. Is that the main mission, though? Is that the Awoken mission? I kind of want to check to make sure that I didn't just pick up a side deal. Uh, oh, no, that's that's it. That's it. Okay, so we gotta go and talk to 15 aliens, which is actually fine because we have a space station here and it probably has about 15 people in it. To be completely honest, I think so. Hey, the teleporter's online. Ho, 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 ho. So we have SFA base. We have this guy, the scientist, and large cystic station major. Is that this place? Hopefully. Okay, so that is online. That's fantastic. What are you? These all look the same. They all look pretty much the same. Uh, I talked to everybody in here and I'm still like a few short, like just, <laughs> just a couple short. Oh, let's just warp to another, uh, we'll just warp to another space station real quick. Um, I just can't remember which one I'm on. Hopefully it'd be nice if you could change the names. Let's go to, uh, um, this one. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is nice. Oh, we don't have to tell. We don't have to use the warp field to go back home now. It's great. And I'm pretty sure the ship just like kind of. Uh, oh, we got a Gek relic. Neato. Okay, cool. 
Uh, let's talk to some more people here, shall we? Hey, yo. Okay, we hit we hit the 30 mark. <laughs> we collected the data. So we got to return to Polo. Um, I think it's this one. Pretty sure it was that one. I hope so. I hope this is the right one. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's going to give us like a one-way ticket through a space anomaly. Maybe. If that's, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. Maybe I don't remember correctly. But I think so. Uh, we just have to get there now. Okay. I think this is it, right? Uh, is this the anomaly place? Anomaly detected. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Right? Arrived in four hours. Perfect. Let's go check it out. Polo, I'm back. I am back. I have done your research for you, my friend. I've talked to everybody you needed. Uh, okay. Transmit species data. There you go. They want to, they want to know a little bit about everybody. Uh, request exosuit technology. Request multi-tool. Request starship. Oh, which one do we do? Starship would be good. Multi-tool. I feel like the multi-tool is honestly like our biggest problem. Ah, uh, exosuit. Uh, let's do multi-tool. Let's do that one. All right. What do we get? Uh, advanced body. Yes, we picked the right one. <laughs> I feel like we picked the right one. Oh, uh, please. I must take some time. Okay, perhaps you might explore a little. Find some interesting stories to tell us. Our home loves to gather stories. Okay. Uh, when You will know when I am ready, friend. All I ask is that you see the sights that I cannot. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, we did that. Actually, did this change? Uh, no, it's the same. Okay. Hmm. All righty. Well, maybe we should take that now. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Should we uh, upgrade to this guy right here? Because it's it's kind of slightly it's it's pretty expensive. It's, what? Uh, wait. This is not the same one. That is most definitely not the same one that it was earlier. <laughs> uh, alrighty, guys. Well, that's gonna end this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next episode. So uh, have a wonderful night. I'll see you next time.